In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a list to Spelling City. So the first thing you need to do is start up a web browser like, like Internet Explorer. And for the address, you would enter www.spellingcity.com and hit enter. And when you get to the website, it'll look like this. And to log in, you go to the upper right hand corner and you put in your username and your password, which I'll give you later, and click on login. What you'll see in this upper right hand corner is a teacher toolbox. In order to add a new list, you would click on list management. And if you scroll down a little bit here under list management, you can see you can create a new list, create a new group, or delete all lists. We're going to go ahead and click on create a new list. If you scroll down a little bit here, what you would do is you would click on the list name, which here we're going to call sort 14, the grade level, which here is grade 5 or 5th grade, and then a little description. So this is, I'm going to enter the information for the sort. So it's going to be VCV, VCCV, and Oddball. And then you would click here next to 1, and you would start entering the words and then at the end of the word you would hit enter so lesson summer rabbit pretty busy now at the end of this one when you hit enter it's going to add a new word for you so paper open dinner ruler kitten happy diner letter puppy supper later, penny, tiny, even, tiger, supper, I mean super, hello, over, and crazy. All right, so now we've got all 24 words. You'll click on word order, either as entered, alphabetical, or random. I'm going to pick random. Publish the list, say yes, and click on save. Now let's take a look. We have sort 14, fifth grade, description. And here for each word, they give you a definition and a sentence. You have the ability to go ahead and edit and change the definition in the sentence or add a new definition in the sentence. And then you'll see down here that with some of these, like busy, they give you three different definitions and they use them in three different sentences and you can pick the one you want. Now, when somebody is actually using your list, this is going to be the definition and sentence that is read to them. So, um, so that's why you need to go through this and pick the appropriate one. Let's say we like all of them. We go down to the bottom. You have a ch chance to add more words if you want. You can change the word order or publish the list. Um, and then go ahead and click on save. And there it is. Your list shows up. So now when somebody comes to Grimes Memorial School, Evelyn Chalecki, one of, well, let's just go ahead and see. You'll see that um, sort 14 is one of the spelling lists they can choose from. And if they, and they have a opportunity to get tested to learn or to play games and oh and finally you come up to the right hand upper right hand corner under teacher toolbox to log out and that's the, all there is to it